Right, hello everybody. Just a little update on uh, about my last video regarding the um, tail stock. The, com the company that I sent my um, tail stock lead screw away to finally admitted after a week and a half that they didn't have time to do it and I had to get it back. So I've machined up the tail stock piece but of course I can't do left hand threads on this lathe so I've done uh, done a little modification which I'm sure some of you will appreciate and um, thankfully now if we engage we've got the tail stuck the saddle going backwards so what I've done God, I hate that toy gear it's horrible what I've done is normally if this is focused Normally, <clears throat> that's the main drive wheel there, behind there, and then that gear there that's behind there, which is a 50 tooth, is an idler gear. And you never change those for, for anything. You change these here for changing your speeds on your, for getting your different threads. So what I've done is I bought another, another main gear which is very wide, they're very they're about 15 millimeters deep. And I made a little bracket. So that that now sits on the idler wheel on the drive gear. Let me just pick up a pick up a screwdriver and I can show you what I've actually done. I'll pull this off. That will go twanging off somewhere now and I won't find it. No, there we go. We're okay. Right, so now what we've done There we go, that's, that's the normal standard drive gear that sits on there and what I've done is I've just put a spacer behind it to space it out off the drive wheel then I've made this little bracket up and added another drive wheel and because they're very wide it's constantly in mesh with that one and then meshes with this one and consequently it forces it in reverse the one thing you have to do is this bracket that holds this next idler wheel you have to machine it so it misses the misses the gear for this combination and if it needs a smaller drive gear I think I'll be a little bit um, snookered but anyway, for what I need to do at this moment in time, that works perfect. So now I can actually get on and uh, machine my left hand lead screw for my tailstock, which I will do on the next video. Thanks for watching.